You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. All local, all morning. Well, coming up, your favorite junk foods. Not so bad for you after all? Well, that's going to be good. I love this next segment. We're actually talking with a dietitian who tells us which three foods actually are good for us and are continuing to get a bad rap. Whatever that is, that looks good. Was oh, that ham? I'm nice. Hilarious. You know, I'm, you're watching Fox All Local. All all right, it's that time, 7.55 in the morning, and you're probably thinking about what you're eating for breakfast this morning. Maybe you're already sitting down and eating something right now. So what do you really want for breakfast? That's the question. Eggs with steak, flanked with some buttery toast. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Maybe even short stack pancakes with some syrup steaming off of the top of it. But what if you found out that eggs and rib meat are really not that bad. In fact, this man right here, dietitian and nutritional scientist Christopher Speed, is breaking this down for us and debunking those myths that we hear eggs are bad, high cholesterol, are clogging your arteries, milk, and then my favorite right here, I don't know about breakfast, but eggnog? Eggnog. Well, look, eggnog, like many of the other dairy products, they're being demonized as well as meat. Right. Dairy is a great example of, of, of a food that's being demonized and people removing it from their diet because they think it's heart hazardous. What they're then doing, though, is actually what is truly heart hazardous. They're taking calcium supplements, which have been shown by themselves to actually increase the risk of heart disease. What you need to remember is that if you're going to take calcium in a supplemental form, make sure it's with MenaQ7 K2. That's going to ensure that the calcium is not being driven into your arteries and pushed into your bones where you need it most. Okay, let's talk about that, because I've heard of vitamin D. We all need a little bit more vitamin D, and of course milk is a great way to get that, any of the dairy products, but what is K2? So he's, a, uh, he's one of the vitamin K2 um, fat-soluble vitamins um, that we just simply don't consume enough in, in westernized in society. Okay. So if we can eat more of that, we, it's actually been shown to actually reduce the risk of heart disease. And we find that in milk? Uh, m milk, but mostly in supplemental forms. You're going to have to get okay. it in most supplements, such as the MediQ7. Okay. Uh, eggs right here, they always get the bad rap. I mean, you hear about incredible edible eggs, you know, you see all the ads and things, but then people associate that with high cholesterol. Oh, I eat eggs and bacon every day. Bacon, obviously, the one thing, but then the eggs. There's never been a link between eggs and the ultimate risk of increasing cholesterol. Even the American Heart Association recommends that we can consume eggs every day and, and enjoy them. Is it what we do with the eggs, what we put them with? Is that yes, the it, it's a bit like red meat here. You know, red meat is another food that is, is being demonized. But look here, it's a balance with plant-based foods, fruits, vegetables, and, and whole grains. These are things you should be consuming in balance with these foods. You've got some lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers in here, and then some uh, green peppers with... Now, portion size, though, on the meat, is that an issue? Yeah, I mean, it's like anything. Calories in, calories out. Okay. If we eat too many calories, we're going to gain weight. And as a society, that's probably our biggest public health issue. All right, Christopher Speed, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Staying healthy. Well, coming up, an update to a shooting overnight right here in Baltimore County. What police are saying about that incident in Owings Mills. That's coming up next. 7.58 is your time.